All right, guys, welcome back to What If Goku Was Evil. Where we last left off, Cooler became Metal Cooler, and a turn between Universe 6 and Universe 7 was about to begin. With all that being said, let's get to it. Goku and the rest of his team began to walk as they saw Kaba. As he said, ah, Universe 6 Saiyan, you don't have a tail. Did you lose it like mine? Kaba would say, a tail, what? He would look at Goku, kind of confused, as they would all look back at him, not really knowing what to say. As in they would explain their history, Kaba would be disgusted to hear about how evil the Saiyans were. And Goku would say, why are you so disgusting, you pathetic warrior? <laughs> you should be proud that our Saiyans are strong people, while your Saiyans are nothing but wusses. Take that back! No, I don't think I will! If I ever go to your universe, I'll wipe out your planet, Goku said, smirking as any walked away. Vegeta said, don't let Kakarot get to you. He put his hand on his shoulder and said, our Saiyans might be evil, but I'm one of the good ones. Kaba can tell he was serious, so he nodded. And the first round began. It was Goku versus Botamu. As Botamu jumped down to the stage, Goku would look up at him and say, this is my next opponent. A giant fat bear. <laughs> I can't wait to break you. I wonder if your bones will break, he said. Botamo said, you have tough talk. Let's see if you can back it up. Goku would try to punch him and throw key blasts at him, but it would bounce off of his body. He would get irritated, but then he had an idea. He would grab his legs and begin to drag him. Botamo would say, what are you doing? Dragging you out like the pathetic trash you are. Botamu would get mad and say, stop it, stop it. He would blast key blast after key blast after key blast from his mouth. But Goku would dodge every single one of them as he dragged him further and further, closer to the edge of the ring. He would say, please, please don't, what, throw you out? I'm sorry, but this ring has no room for trash. As he threw him out of the ring, he lost. The next match was Goku versus Frost. Frost would look at Goku and say, I'm going to enjoy this battle. Goku would say, cut the crap. I can tell deep down you're evil, just like me. Frost would say, I have no idea what you're talking about, good sir. <laughs> Suit yourself. Are you going to transform or are you going to use that first form? Goku and Frost would continue the battle. But then Goku would begin to pulverize Frost, beat him up, torture him, forcing him to transform to his final form. Frost said, I must win to donate this money to charity. As then he swung his tail straight at Goku, but he caught it as a little needle came out. And Goku said, Liar, you don't want to donate to charity. You're nothing but a cheater. As he pointed at the needle, Frost said, That's a lie. That's a part of my body. The referee would check and say, No, it's not. Frost is a cheater. You're out. But Goku would say, No, I want to fight him. Ref would say, But he's cheating. I don't care. Let me fight him. The ref would nod as Frost would look at him and say, Well, you managed to uncover my little act. Clever on you, clever on you. But I'm still going to get that money and that reward. And you're still going to be defeated, he said, as he swung his fist straight at him, having a needle come out. But then Goku teleported behind him and then kicked him in the back of the head and turned form into his blue form, saying, Hmm. <laughs> Time to go. Kamehameha! As he blasted him with the Kamehameha, so strong it almost killed him as he hit the floor, bleeding, bones broken. Goku would transform back to his base form as Kaba was shocked as he saw this, shaken. Everyone was shocked and they said, well, it seems like Goku won. Next match, Goku versus Kaba. Kaba and Goku would charge at each other and begin to punch each other, blow for blow, punch for punch. Each punch sent the entire ring shaking. Kaba said, what are you doing? Goku said, I am destroying you, as he picked his arm up and broke it, and then said, I'm going to murder you and your entire family, and began to torture him, brutalize him. Eventually, Kaba got so mad, he turned Super Saiyan and punched Goku as hard as he could, but it did nothing, as Goku simply just kicked him off the ring. Goku would laugh and say, is it that easy? I'll take all of you on. <laughs> Universe 6 is nothing but cowards and worthless weaklings. Hit looked at him ready to fight. Megeta was going to jump in, but Hit said, let me jump in instead. They agreed as the next match was Hit versus Goku. Jumped into the tournament. As then he looked at Goku and Goku looked at him. Goku would say, are you really here to fight me? <laughs> 
I am the mighty Goku, the most powerful being in the universe. And soon to be multiverse, Hit would say, shut up, and he would time skip, punching Goku, and they would both begin to battle each other. But each time Goku battled, Hit would do a time skip, hitting him again and again and again. These time skips would wear on Goku, but Goku had an idea. He decided to evolve his blue form. As he began to yell, he began to get stronger and stronger, but then suddenly, the entire planet shook as a giant spaceship landed. Beerus would say, who the hell interrupted our tournament? When suddenly, metal coolers would walk out, and they would all turn gold, saying, Hello, do you mind if I butt in? Chompa would then stand up and say, First one to kill Cooler wins the tournament! Beers would say, You can't say that, but suddenly they were all battling. As Granola was shooting sniper blasts straight into the Golden Coolers, destroying them. But the Golden Coolers kept coming and coming and coming. Vegeta was fighting them, but he was struggling. Then he used his Kaioken with his blue form. As then suddenly... Goku used blue evolution, and they began to battle them, pushing them further and further and further. However, no matter how hard they fought, more and more golden coolers came. Hit did a time skip, destroying them again and again, but they all began to get wounded. As Cooler would say, what's wrong? Oh, you getting winded? <laughs> Seems like I must eat my prey now. As then he would look at Beerus and begin to fly towards him. You know, Beerus, with this power, I might as well destroy you and become the new god of destruction. Beerus would then look at him, irritated, and say, If you say that one more time, I'm gonna... Gonna what, Beerus? You're nothing but a lazy, pathetic cat. An excuse of a god of a... But then Beerus put his hand up and said, Hakai, and erased Cooler permanently. Everyone was shocked. Beerus said, All right, this tournament's over. Chomp would say, what about the Super Dragon Balls? Fine, we can continue it. They waited a while for them to catch their breath, and the match between Goku and Hit continued, but everyone was shocked. Cooler was just a race, just like that. I guess you shouldn't make Beerus mad. Goku and Hit began to battle. Hit did time skip after time skip, hitting Goku in tons of pressure points. Goku could compete in his blue evolution form, however, that used a lot of stamina, and he was already used out from fighting all the opponents and Cooler. As time went on, he got more and more winded, as he could barely even stand. Hit said it's over. Goku would say, yeah, it is, but guess what? The Demon King will wipe you out. Once you get done beating Vegeta up. <laughs> as Goku simply just jumped off the stand, shocking everyone, Goku walked up. As the next match was Vegeta versus Hit. As Vegeta walked up, Vegeta said, look, Hit, I want to apologize for Kakarot's behavior. I want you to know he doesn't represent everyone in our universe. Hit says, I could tell you mean that. You're unique, Vegeta. I could sense you've done terrible things in the past, but your new personality, it seems calmer. This will be a fun fight. Hit and Vegeta begin to battle. Vegeta uses his Kaioken form, and it manages to push Hit pretty far, as Hit uses all of his time skip powers. As they end up pushing each other further and further, the match continues. Beerus would look at Goku and say, why the hell did you jump off the ring as they were fighting? Goku would simply laugh and say, I was gonna lose anyway. Might as well give it to Vegeta. Besides, I like him. For a goody two-shoes, he's really something unique, you know? And he turned good, too. Makes you think. Beerus says, are you gonna turn good? Goku would say, no, I prefer my evil ways. Vegeta realized something, that he couldn't beat Hit. The only way he could defeat him was one last dish effort. As he began to charge all of his might into a big bang attack. As he launched a giant big bang attack, Hit skipped it and simply punched him off the ring. But Hit was panting. He was barely standing after that battle, using so much stamina. The next match was Piccolo versus Hit. Piccolo walked up and Hit looked at him. Hit goes, so you're the Demon King. You know, Goku told me a lot about you. Really, is that so? Piccolo would say. Hit and Piccolo would walk closer and closer as suddenly Piccolo turned into his orange form. As Hit used his time skip, but Piccolo caught it. He said, how is that possible? I, if you're powerful enough, you can destroy any technique. As then he began to pulverize Hit, punch him at all of his pressure points, cause him to bleed and torture him and laugh. Chamba said, stop this bloodlust! Stop it! Stop it! Piccolo said no as he threw him out of the ring. The next match was Chugga versus Piccolo. As a giant robot got up, Megeta looked down at him and began to shake in fear. As Piccolo grabbed him and began to tear him apart, 
and destroy him. His metal body may have been strong, but it was no match for Piccolo. Machuga cried as he began to say, Chugga, 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 Chugga. Magetta was no match for Piccolo as he simply teared him apart. The victory was won, and Beerus went off to use the Super Dragon Balls. As he used it, Beerus then wished to bring Earth back to life on Champa's home home universe. As everything was done, we cut to Goku and Piccolo. And Goku says, I have a plan. A plan to what? To kill Beerus and to become the new god of destruction. You in? You know it, Piccolo would say. Good. Now let's use Broly and all the people we've gathered. But we'll save that all for the next episode of What If Goku Was Evil. Hope you're enjoying this series. I know I am. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.